Hello everybody, my name's Margaret Mew and I'm the author of Kultram Lagar and Other Musings and I'm here today to talk to you about using Mylar templates. In my newest book there are five projects that use Mylar templates. There's 36 Albrook Hill, Mayflower, Travels with Euphemia, Miss Maisie's Garden and the Cleland Coverlet. And because there's a few ways you can use these templates, um, I'm going to show you them for projects Mayflower and Travels with Euphemia. Um, when you've got a really simple shape that has outward curves like this one here used in Mayflower, this is the ellipse shape, you can do, um, you can pre-turn your fabric over your mylar template and iron it because of course the mylar won't melt. So here I'll just run a light line around here to give me my finished size of my piece and I'll cut that out with roughly a quarter inch seam allowance. And then I will use my template again, place it centered on my piece of fabric and here I've got just some um, best press and a little glass and I've diluted that 50-50 with water and um, just using a little paintbrush. This is just the sort of thing you would find in a children's paint kit. Just go around the edge of your template, taking a dry iron, you're going to just turn that seam allowance over and roll the seam allowance over the template and that will dry and set that edge. Pick it up and turn it around carefully and repeat for the other side. So you're not going to melt your mylar and it takes a long time to scorch fabric. So you're just going to be able to let the iron, the heat of the iron, remember it's a dry, hot iron, and just press all that seam around. You can see how long I can leave this hot iron on there and make sure I get a really nice, crisp turned edge. It's important that your ironing surface at this point is very firm. If you were using your ironing board that you might use for just your regular household ironing, you might need to slip a piece of cardboard underneath the um, cover, between the cover and the ironing board base to give you a firm surface. If the surface is too spongy, then you're not going to get a nice crisp edge. So you're going to have a piece like that. There's a another one. And now those are ready to place. Um, and you would use your light box or um, transfer your design. And they're ready then to just place onto your background fabric, um, either pin or a little dob of glue and applique those in place. So that's what you can do with uh, a very simple shape with an outward curve. You would also use that for 36 Albrook Hill. You could do that with this curve. The other thing you can do with them is you can use them to make your circles. Um, so here, this is for 30, uh, this small one is for 36 Albrook Hill. There's one that's used in Mayflower. So again, you would just draw around your circle. You're going to cut that out with a generous seam allowance. Here I've used just a little more than a quarter of, of an inch. Take a thread, knot in one end, and just take a running stitch close to the edge all the way around that circle. And 
once you've gone all the way around. You can place your circle back inside, pull up your thread and that will gather up over your mylar circle. It's actually very difficult to cut a really perfect circle so these pre-cut ones just make it so much easier to get a really lovely round circle and you're just going to press that again you're going to get a crisp pre-turned edge where your thread has started and finished that's where you're just going to ease that gathered circle open a little bit pull your circle out and then just gently pull that into shape you can give it another press for good luck so that would give you your perfect circles the other way you can use these templates and this is why you'll be using them in different ways um, when you've got a shape that has a lot of inward and outward curves you can see that because I had to turn my template to do the other side of this ellipse shape that if you had to do that with a shape that has many inward and outward curves then you're going to run into problems because you'll never get that template back inside um, your fabric and those curves matched up. So therefore what I do is I just use this template now as a really perfectly cut with cur the curves are nice and curvy, it's exactly the right size and I just treat this as a template for needle turn applique. So I would trace around this and I'm using in this case 3B pencil which I'm keeping nice and sharp because remember what you're drawing here is your stitching line. If your pencil isn't going to show up on your particular coloured fabric you can go to a couple of other options. I would use either a Bowen pencil, these come in, that one's a, a lead, you can have white, pink, um, there's also a yellow, so they'll show up on most dark fabrics. And um, even for applique, I will go to a permanent marker if I know I can turn my needle turn and completely cover those lines. So just going around this, all the way around, and that then is your applique shape ready for needle turn applique and you would cut that out with a scant quarter inch seam allowance. And then that would be, that would then be tacked or pinned to your applique background. So looking at the Travels with Euphemia templates, for these, many of these have a nice in outward curve, but you've got this very deep valley. So again, this one would be problematic to use in this method. And I would use this as um, just a needle turn applique template. The same for these, anything with these deep valleys, you really going to want to just use those as a needle turn applique template. This one, you could use this one in this manner and it might be that you just do these outside edges here by pre-turning and allow yourself enough here to um, needle turn that afterwards. And the same with your quadruple hearts for 36 Albrook Hill you're going to just treat this as a perfectly cut um, needle turn applique template. Uh, the bar that's in Mayflower, again, you would be able to pre-turn because you've got um, 
simple lines and no inward curves. So those are the few ways that you can use your Mylar templates, either pre-turning as a perfect circle using a gathering thread or using them as a needle turn applique template. I hope that helps and um, happy stitching your quilts from Quilts on the Go.